Starting off this vlog, it is a Friday night, and I am about to use my brand new camera for the first time. I got the Canon M6, and I got the 11 to 22 milliliter lens, so it's a little bit more of a wide angle, and I'm so so excited about it because I've been wanting a more wide angle camera for a while, and I've heard multiple people who vlog love this camera. So I was like, you know what? I think it's time to upgrade. So I um, I just got ready because I'm going to a friend's birthday party. The theme is like wearing all black and looking like a whore. So <laughs> welcome to my life. I am actually needing to head out very soon. So this will be a very quick transition, but I'll show you guys. This is my camera that I've always been filming on, the Canon G7X Mark II that I've had for years. And I'm about to switch, make the switch to the camera. These are always so exciting in people's videos when it just immediately gets 10 times better, hopefully. So this is definitely a bigger because of the lens and heavier camera. So I won't probably take this out and about much. I'm still gonna use my G7X for more portable vlogging or like on the go because it's much easier to put in a bag. But for all of my apartment at home vlogs, which is a lot of my footage, um, I thought that this would be perfect. Here we freaking go, everyone. Can I get a drum roll? Can I get a three, two, one? Oh. and boom look at that wide angle lens baby i am so excited about this camera i think this is just like what i need especially i think i mentioned already in my small apartment i think it also just like helps with the entire visual the effect with seeing more of the background i think it's such an improvement on my canon g7x so welcome to my new camera quality. I'm very hyped about it. I'm probably gonna do the thing where I'm like annoyingly looking at the viewfinder the whole time, like getting used to the angles and the kind of dynamics of the camera and um, just like the best way to use it and stuff. I still need to play with the settings and like figure out coloring, white balance, all of that and everything that I already mostly figured out on this guy. This is the G7X that I've been vlogging on for years. I got them like refurbished, um, so I didn't want to like pay the full price and I was like, it says like new, so whatever and i think it's no problem so far okay i need to actually get going because i'm going to meet my friends for dinner before the birthday party and i need to head out um i will show you guys my outfit on my new camera i'm using my ring light just because it's dark outside um but i'm literally i feel like i'm wearing a catwoman costume without the ears because it's literally just really tight black clothing but i'm gonna wear flannel on the train maybe i should show this in the mirror i don't know um, so these, I'm wearing these leather leggings from Spanx. They're like the really popular ones. I don't remember the exact name of the style, but I think they're the classic like leather legging. They're just full length. And then I tuck them into boots. This tie on the side, um, Zara top, it's like a square neck. Okay, so there's the boots. I think my tripod's moving around. Sorry for the ugly floor shot, but I haven't been to just like an apartment party with a bunch of people that I don't know and friends in a long time. So I think it'll be fun. And I probably won't be vlogging, but we're going to my old neighborhood for dinner. So I'm really excited to visit and walk around and see my old stomping grounds because I haven't been back since I moved and show my friends around a little bit before we go to my friend's apartment. So cheers to that. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to the new camera and let's have a good weekend. Colin wants to demonstrate the liquidity of the chip queso dip. Wow, look at that. That's good stuff. And? Wait, what's the verdict from a Texan? Good queso? Good. Decent queso. Good. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now, since I have some time, I'm going to work on a worksheet that my therapist gave me. I'm going to fill out this workbook that she gave me, but I'm gonna fill it out as if it was like me in the past and like past beliefs I had about myself and like comparing it to now. So anyway, I'm gonna do that right now because I haven't really had time this week to actually sit down. I really wanna focus on it and like be present while I'm doing it. But I thought that would also be the perfect time in this vlog to tell you guys about BetterHelp because they are in fact sponsoring this video and I'm just so, so grateful to be working with them and it's really made a difference for me and I definitely think it can for so many of you too. So if you found at any point that like 
you're hitting walls or there's something getting in the way of you achieving your goals or being happy or anything like that and i've definitely been there where like i know that i'm self-sabotaging in some way but i don't know you know exactly where it's coming from and i don't have the perspective or you know ability to just like dissect that in myself and like sometimes you just need a professional to help you out with like why you might be getting in your own way or like something stopping you from reaching your goals or why you're holding yourself back in some ways but better help is an online service that'll help you assess your needs and match you with a licensed therapist you can start communicating within 48 hours honestly i've had such an incredible experience on better help i took they give you a quiz so you get to like explain some of your own backstory what would really fit your needs in your therapy and they match you i'm not even kidding i got matched with a therapist um like within an hour like it was so quick and i that's why i was like so stunned when i actually started meeting with her and getting to know her that they were able to pick someone that was so well suited to me and i know that from hearing from other people and talking with them about their experiences in so many different ways that like Sometimes finding the therapist can be the hardest part. BetterHelp really does assess your needs with a quiz to find someone that fits your needs best. And I've been absolutely so happy with the person that I was matched with, with so quickly too. But it's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's licensed professional therapy done securely online. And that's what's so nice about it too, the fact that it's online is that you have access to a broad network of expertise that have maybe people that specialize in something very specific that you need that you're not limited to just the people in your area that maybe don't have that same expertise, but you have access to that huge network. They have over 20,000 therapist networks that you might not have in your local area. You'll get timely, thoughtful responses, and it's like in the comfort of your own home or wherever you want to do your therapy. It is more affordable than traditional offline therapy, and financial aid is available. So that's really helpful because I think that's, you know, a big barrier for a lot of people is not having the accessibility or being too expensive. You guys can visit betterhelp.com slash Christy. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P. I have it linked in the description box and you can get 10% off and you can join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health and getting therapy in. So again, that's a special offer for you wonderful people who are watching my videos. Go to betterhelp.com slash Christy. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P. And you guys can get 10% off your first month on BetterHelp. So definitely check it out. The link is in the description and I could not recommend it enough. And I'm going to get back to working on the workbook and um, getting ready for my session with my therapist tomorrow. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning. My face is in the sun. I need to head out in like five minutes. I look dead, but I feel like it too. I um, am headed out early today for a Saturday. <laughs> um, I guess it's not that early, but like waking up felt like early <laughs> because I got back late last night from the party and it was so fun. I haven't been to just like an apartment party with friends and their friends and that whole thing for a long time. And it was just so, I don't know, just it was fun to be, like play games with people and like meet a bunch of new people. I didn't really know that many there. So it was really cool to like get to meet friends of friends and all that so really fun i just somehow ended up a lot more hungover than i should be for some reason and i don't understand why <laughs> i had one margarita at dinner and I did two seltzers at the party and like yeah we were playing drinking games and stuff but like i didn't drink that much during them i don't know i think maybe it's like usually when i feel hungover it's from lack of sleep or lack of hydration rather than like i drank way too much Obviously, there's a correlation with that. I'm putting on Doc Martens, by the way, because we're going today, bright and early, we're driving, I think, like two hours north to a an apple orchard, and it's called Barton Farm, or Barton Orchards, I think, and I'm so excited. We're doing the fall thing. We're going to have a full experience, apple picking, pumpkins. It's literally called Jack-O-Lantern Palooza this weekend. So live music, like it looks adorable. I've only been to Harvest Moon in New York, I believe, as far as orchards go. Um, but this one is new to me, so should be fun. My friend found it. We are renting a car and driving up there because there's not a train that goes there. So that's fun. And I've been saying recently that like, I've just been craving getting out of the city. Um, I think like as much as one can love New York, I think at times like you just need to go somewhere else or like get a break and kind of, I, I just miss nature. So I'm excited for the drive. 
I don't know if the trees are gonna be like that different, like leaves changing um, kind of trees up there. It's not that far and things are not super, you know, ooh, oh my thread of this got caught. Um, the trees aren't changing too much in the city yet. I'm going to leave this camera again because it's big, but I'll bring my G7X and hopefully get some footage for you all. I'm just excited for a nice, relaxed, pure autumn day um, with the pals. We are Uber Eatsing Duncan, so I got coffee. But I had like an espresso shot, but I don't think it did anything. And I need to, should I bring my water bottle? I probably should. I believe in the car. Okay, let's go. I guess I'll show you my outfit. It's not much of an outfit, but actually I need to put a belt on so I can show you that while I do that. I haven't worn my Doc Martens in ages, so it's like a weird to get used to the feel of them because they're like flat compared to the other boots that I wear that have a heel. Anyway, I'm just putting on this Princess Polly belt, but um, does it matter which way it goes? I'm wearing cotton on corduroy crop top uh, jacket and I think it's great because it's lightweight so it's perfect for this like in between time where it's still actually going to be quite warm today. It's going to be like mid 70s and then it's supposed to rain later so hopefully um, we miss the rain and it comes after we leave. That's what we're aiming for. Um, and then Zara jeans, this like turtle neck top with my Ritz's Polly necklace and my dogs. So very simple outfit. Like I said, this could probably go tighter. I'm so excited. I need sunglasses. Now we are ready for the orchards. back from the orchard a few hours ago several hours ago and I was so exhausted I don't know why I think I was just drained because like I really didn't get much sleep last night and then like running around today and the orchard was cool but I saw these like really cute pumpkin paths you could walk but it was only open at night and we couldn't go because it was daytime so that was a bummer we saw live music um, we walked through where the apples were grown and they were kind of like picked over a lot um, Just because it's kind of like late-ish in the season. Long story short um, Yes, we had a lovely day at the apple orchard and now I'm back home and now I'm leaving back home again And I'm going out into the world again But I had a few hours just to chill out because I was really that tired like I just vegged out on the couch and I watched a movie. I watched Serendipity because we were talking about Serendipity in the car and one of my friends had never been. And I didn't even know that there was like a rom-com about it. It's not all about it, but it's part of the movie and it's called Serendipity. And it's on Netflix and it was really cute. It was just like a classic, like could have been a Meg Ryan film, but she wasn't in it <laughs> kind of movie. And I was definitely could have gone either way, like staying in tonight or going out. And then my friend called me and she's like, we're going out and I was like, Okay. <laughs> It'll be really chill though, like we all of us want to get sleep tonight. So we're just gonna go to one bar in Brooklyn, hang out, get some drinks, chat, and then come back and sleep. So I'm wearing a bodysuit. It's like a purpley one. Um, I think it's Zara and so are my jeans. I'm wearing the black jeans. Oh no, I didn't wear these earlier. Um, these black jeans, they're like straight leg jeans. Also Zara and a belt and I'm wearing a leather jacket. It was actually quite warm today um, Especially like up at the orchard when the Sun would come out and stuff But I think it's cooled down a lot and at night now it's might rain so I'm gonna grab an umbrella a bag here I like need to get my energy up, but also I don't want to drink an energy drink because I want to sleep so you know the dilemma definitely going to bring a hair clip because if it rains my hair is just doomed and that's fine. Okay, I should probably double check what time the train's coming, but I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow, but yeah, happy Saturday. 
Good morning, everyone. I have a zit on my lips, so let's ignore that. And I look like I just got hit by a truck, but whew, it is Sunday morning. It is sunny outside. Finally, we've been having so many like gloomy mornings that I got kind of used to it, but like waking up to the sun, streaming into my room, I was very happy. And I'm holding a can of pumpkin puree because this morning I am finally gonna try and do like a little cold brew, pumpkin cream cold brew at home. I've seen people do this in vlogs and I'm kind of, I'm not gonna look up a recipe. I think it's pretty simple. I am just, I don't even have cream is a thing. I'm just gonna have oat milk frothed up and froth the, a little bit of pumpkin puree in it and like a couple like spices or something and pour it over cold brew and I think it'll be really good. I probably should look at measurements, but also like, I'm only making one is the thing. So I probably don't need much pumpkin puree and I don't want it to taste like an actual spoonful of pumpkin pie. Like, I want it to be subtle. <laughs> Here she is, pumpkin puree. I got this at Whole Foods for like a dollar. It's gonna do like a little spoonful, yay big kind of a lot actually, but whatever. And I already poured um, some non-flavored oat milk and then some maple oat milk in this mug. So I'm just gonna do a little splash of vanilla powder. This stuff is bomb. Um, I think it's on my Amazon shop. And what's the other one I got? Oh, I'm gonna do cinnamon, Trader Joe's. And just a little bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm trying to decide if I should add pumpkin pie spice into the cream or just put it on top. Well, there actually is cinnamon in this. I'm gonna use this little whisk guy and just go for it. Trying to make sure the pumpkin pie stuff is getting all blended. It's actually quite a bit of milk. I have a bottle of Stumptown Cold Brew from Whole Foods. I just saw it and it spoke to me. And it's just plain coffee, nothing in it. I'm just gonna do it up to like here because I kind of have a lot of cold foam. So, ooh. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. Look at it. Look at it. Wow, this is very satisfying. Okay, and that foam on top. Okay, yum. It's literally <laughs> about to overflow and I still have some. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of this on top. I wanted to do just like a line of it, but. So there's my little pumpkin cream cold brew. Ooh, that pumpkin foam is actually so good and I don't think it's too much pumpkin at all. Okay, yep, this is delicious. I'm gonna drink this um, and edit some of the podcast for next week just because I have time. I like to do that on weekend mornings just because it's nice to just like, chill out, relax, sit on the couch in the morning, um, but also like get something done that doesn't require a ton of like focus and brain power. Like I can watch YouTube videos while I kind of go through the podcast, cut out clips that we're not gonna use, etc. My Sunday, or no, my Saturday night was really fun. I'm really glad I went back out because I was like teetering on not going just because I was so tired. Um, and the day was just kind of like all over the place. But I met up with some friends at a bar called The Crack, The Crack, I don't know, C-R-A-I-C. And it was like in Williamsburg by the L train. So really, really cute place. And it was the perfect vibe that we needed because it was very chill. We could hang out, talk, very cozy vibes. Um, I just had like one drink, good prices. Um, and we didn't stay out that late. I was back at like 12.30 and then got to sleep. I'm not hungover and I'm awake, alive, alert. And sip it on cold room. So good morning. Happy Sunday. I honestly don't even know what's in the plans for today. It's so nice out But I kind of just want to use today as like a very Catch-up day of relaxation, which I did relax for a few hours yesterday when I watched that movie But I don't know. I'm just like feeling extra tired for some reason this weekend um, And I really don't understand why <laughs> just because it's so nice Maybe I'll just go to a park and like read that's always a good Sunday activity um, or meet up with a friend for coffee or something so We'll find out, but for now, coffee. Okay, hello. It is a few hours later, and I honestly just decided, like, I wanted to have a chill day at home, so that's what I've been doing. I actually edited this vlog up to this point, 
and got ahead on some stuff and planning for like upcoming trips i'm gonna be gone the next two weekends i'm gonna go up to the roof and try and catch the sunset it looks like there's some clouds over the city though so i don't know if i'll see it but um it looks nice on one side of the sky so we'll see but i just want to get some fresh air and then i'm gonna go up and write a little bit journal i feel like especially um since i started therapy i'm in more of a position to like be honest with myself in journaling and things because sometimes it's like when you talk about it out loud with someone and like process things more i think journaling is a great way to reflect on things especially as you're like you know working on being self-aware about some things or like how you self-sabotage or whatever it is like whatever you're struggling with so i'm really trying to utilize journaling in conjunction with like therapy working on myself and like being self-reflective kind of thing i'm gonna go up to the roof and journal for a bit and maybe read i'm bringing my kindle it's actually kind of cold out today i think i have the window open and it's a chilly breeze i must say but i'm wearing my sweatshirt and leggings and then after that i'm gonna do a workout i'm gonna do my open fit workout in the gym tonight maybe some abs starting off the new week and then have my little like sunday night cozy routine where i clean that's pretty much my routine <laughs> This side, pretty, light clouds, colors. This side, dark clouds, that's where the city is. So um, we'll see, but hopefully there's no one up there. This is where I'm going to wrap up this weekend vlog. I still need to finish some of the workbook that I was working on earlier for therapy. The sunset was so gorgeous. You guys, I'm so glad I decided to go up and watch this one because I really just needed it and it was beautiful. I was like at first, I wasn't sure it was going to be like that great because of the clouds, but they kind of shifted and there was a rainbow because it was raining in some parts of the city that you could see and yeah, it was just really nice. So I did that and then I went and did my workout. I did Peloton for cardio and then I did the open fit workout and came back, showered, dinner, cleaned my Sunday routine is complete and now i'm just gonna wrap up some last minute things on my computer so i can read before i go to bed so thank you so much for watching this weekend in my life anyway i really need to get to sleep so i'm going to wrap it up but thanks for watching subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in my next vlog in a few days okay bye